If we consider the paired branches coming off the abdominal aorta, we'll start superiorly right over here above the celiac trunk. You can see there is a branch that's coming off, and there would be a branch on the other side. This branch is supplying the diaphragm. So here's the diaphragm muscle. This would be the inferior phrenic artery. And this would be the one that you find on the right side. There would be another one on the left side, which is not shown. The right and the left kidney, you can see on either side of the abdominal aorta. And associated with the superior poles of these kidneys, we have the suprarenal glands, also known as the adrenal glands. Each of these, of course, are supplied with blood coming from the abdominal aorta. The arteries that are supplying the kidneys are called the renal arteries. So you have the left renal artery here and the right renal artery over here. The arteries that are supplying the adrenal glands or the suprarenal glands are referred to as the suprarenal arteries. And so you can see right over here your suprarenal arteries. Let's just take a closer look at the suprarenal arteries. So right over here you can see a suprarenal artery. 392. Go. Another pair of organs which you don't see right over here but embryologically originate from this region are the gonads, which are the sex organs, the testicles in the male and the ovaries in the female. And you can see that this was where these organs originated in development because their arteries come off the abdominal aorta at this point right over here. If we follow their path, the path of these two arteries, you can see that they descend from their branching point right over here on the abdominal aorta and they go down into the pelvis. And in the male, they're going to go to the scrotal sac and supply the testicles. In the female, they're going to go by way of the suspensory ligament and supply blood to the ovaries. This is going to right gonadal artery, which is either the ovarian in the female or the, t or the testicular in the male. And you can see it's represented by this tube, and we can simply follow it down into the pelvis. And we can do the same thing with the one on the left side, which is located right over, over here, and follow it down and see that it goes down into the pelvis again.